The political status of the Nagorno-Karabakh region remains unresolved. Since 1991, it has been largely controlled by the self-proclaimed Republic of Artsakh, a de facto independent entity. The region, however, is internationally recognized as an integral part of Azerbaijan, although it has not exercised power over most of the region since 1991. Since the end of the Nagorno-Karabakh War in 1994, representatives of the governments of Armenia and Azerbaijan have been holding peace talks mediated by the OSCE Minsk Group on the region's disputed status. Political ties with Armenia In the case of Churagov and others v. Armenia, the European Court of Human Rights decided that the Republic of Armenia, from the early days of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, has had a significant and decisive influence over the NKR, that the two entities are highly integrated in virtually all important matters and that this situation persists to this day. According to Human Rights Watch, from the beginning of the Karabakh conflict, Armenia provided aid, weapons, and volunteers. Armenian involvement in Karabakh escalated after a December 1993 Azerbaijani offensive. The Republic of Armenia began sending conscripts and regular army and interior ministry troops to fight in Karabakh. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Positions and statements. The sovereign status of the Artsakh is not recognized by any United Nations member state including Armenia, but has been recognized by Transnistria, Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Transnistria is not recognized by any UN member state, while the latter two have international recognition from several UN member states. Armenia is currently in an ongoing negotiation with Artsakh, where the end goal is either Artsakh independence recognition or Artsakh integration with Armenia, whatever the people of Artsakh would prefer. Three UN Security Council resolutions 853, 874, and 884 and United Nations General Assembly resolutions 49 and 57 298 refer to Nagorno-Karabakh as a region of Azerbaijan. None of these resolutions were passed under Chapter 7 action with respect to threats to the peace, breaches of the peace, and acts of aggression of the Charter. Certain politicians and legal scholars have expressed the view that resolutions are only legally binding if they are made under Chapter 7 of the Charter. However, it does not mean that binding force of the UN Security Council resolutions 822, 853, 874, and 884 is called into question. The language of these four resolutions indicates that they are not mere recommendations or exhortations, but legally binding decisions. According to a report prepared by British parliamentarian and rapporteur David Atkinson, presented to Political Affairs Committee of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe PACE, the borders of Azerbaijan were internationally recognized at the time of the country being recognized as independent state in 1991. And, the territory of Azerbaijan included the Nagorno-Karabakh region. The resolution hash 1416, adopted by PACE in 2005, stated that, "...considerable parts of the territory of Azerbaijan are still occupied by Armenian forces, and separatist forces are still in control of the Nagorno-Karabakh region." The resolution further stated, the Assembly reiterates that the occupation of foreign territory by a member state constitutes a grave violation of that state's obligations as a member of the Council of Europe and reaffirms the right of displaced persons from the area of conflict to return to their homes safely and with dignity. Recalling the resolutions 822, 853, 874, and 884 all 1993 of the UN Security Council, Pace urged. The parties concerned to comply with them, in particular by refraining from any armed hostilities and by withdrawing military forces from any occupied territories. Quote, the resolution also called on the government of Azerbaijan to establish contact, without preconditions, with the political representatives of both communities from the Nagorno-Karabakh region regarding the future status of the region. The Council of Europe called on the Nagorno-Karabakh de facto authorities to refrain from staging one-sided local self-government elections in Nagorno-Karabakh. These so-called elections cannot be legitimate. 
Stressed Council of Europe Committee of Ministers Chairman and Liechtenstein Foreign Minister Ernst Walsh, Parliamentary Assembly President Lord Russell Johnston and Secretary General Walter Schwimmer. They recalled that following the 1991–1994 armed conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan, a substantial part of the region's population was forced to flee their homes and are still living as displaced persons in those countries or as refugees abroad. This position was reiterated by Walter Schwimmer, Secretary General of the Council of Europe on 4 August 2004 with regard to the next elections, staged in the province, and by the Chair of the Council of Europe's Committee of Ministers on 12 July 2007 with regard to the presidential elections organised in Nagorno-Karabakh. On 21 May 2010 Catherine Ashton, High Representative of the European Union for Foreign Affairs and Security Policy, stated, I would like to recall that the European Union does not recognize the constitutional and legal framework within which the parliamentary elections in Nagorno-Karabakh will be held this Sunday. This event should not prejudice the peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. OSCE Minsk Group co-chairs stated that, Although the co-chairs understand the need for the de facto authorities in NK to try to organize democratically the public life of their population with such a procedure, they underscore again that Nagorno-Karabakh is not recognized as an independent and sovereign state by any of their three countries, nor by any other country, including Armenia. The co-chairs consider that this procedure should not preempt the determination of the final legal status of Nagorno-Karabakh in the broader framework of the peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. In January 2016, the PACE adopted the Resolution Hash 2085 entitled, Inhabitants of frontier regions of Azerbaijan are deliberately deprived of water, which stated that, the occupation by Armenia of Nagorno-Karabakh and other adjacent areas of Azerbaijan creates similar humanitarian and environmental problems for the citizens of Azerbaijan living in the Lower Karabakh Valley. The resolution also requested, the immediate withdrawal of Armenian armed forces from the region, and the Armenian authorities to cease using water resources as tools of political influence or an instrument of pressure. The European Union declared that the European Union confirms its support for the territorial integrity of Azerbaijan, and recalls that it does not recognize the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh. The European Union cannot consider legitimate the presidential elections that were scheduled to take place on the 11th of August 2002 in Nagorno-Karabakh. The European Union reiterated this position with regard to the presidential elections held in the region in 2007. The US Department of State's annual country reports on human rights practices 2006, released on the 6th of March 2007 stated that Armenia continues to occupy the Azerbaijani territory of Nagorno-Karabakh and seven surrounding Azerbaijani territories. During the year incidents along the militarized line of contact separating the sides again resulted in numerous casualties on both sides." A background paper prepared by the Directorate General of Political Affairs of the Council of Europe for the seminar, Youth and Conflict Resolution. Strasbourg, 31 March to 2 April 2003 states, "...the Armenian side maintains that the NK independence referendum was conducted in accordance with the USSR law on the procedure for solving issues of secession of a Soviet Republic from the USSR of 3 April 1990." Article 3 of this law provided autonomous regions within the Soviet republics with the right to determine independently, by referendum, whether they wished to remain within the USSR or join the republic seceding from the USSR. It would however seem that according to this law NK would have the choice of two options, to remain within the USSR or to join independent Azerbaijan, NK independence does not seem possible." According to the article in the Journal of Conflict Resolution. The Armenian side justified its claim by Article 70 of the Soviet Constitution, which affirms the right to self-determination of the peoples of the USSR. 
In fact, this recognition of the principle of self-determination is only part of a general declaratory statement about the nature of the Soviet Federation. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics is an integral, federal, multinational state formed on the principle of socialist federalism as a result of the free self-determination of nations and the voluntary association of equal Soviet socialist republics. The USSR embodies the state unity of the Soviet people and draws all its nations and nationalities together for the purpose of jointly building communism. There is no mechanism, other than the right of the Union Republics to secede Article 72 of the Constitution, through which to express the right of self determination. The actual declaration of establishment of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, issued on 2 September 1991, states that the republic is proclaimed pursuant to the USSR law of secession, and that it "...enjoys the authorities given to republics by the USSR constitution and legislation and reserves the right to decide independently the issue of its state legal status based on political consultations and negotiations with the leadership of union and republics." The declaration further states that, "...the USSR constitution and legislation, as well as other laws currently in force, which do not contradict the goals and principles of this declaration and peculiarities of the Republic apply on the territory of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic, until the NKR constitution and laws are adopted." However, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan states that, according to this law, in a Union Republic containing autonomous republics, autonomous provinces and autonomous regions, the referendum had to be held separately in each autonomous unit, the people of which retained the right to decide independently the question of staying in the USSR or in the seceding Union Republic, as well as to raise the question of their own state legal status. It is important to emphasize that the secession of a Union Republic from the USSR could be regarded valid only after the fulfillment of complicated and multi-staged procedure and, finally, the adoption of the relevant decision by the Congress of the USSR People's Deputies. However, until the Soviet Union ceased to exist as international person, the mentioned law was without legal effect, since no Union Republic, including Azerbaijan and Armenia, had used the procedure for secession stipulated in it. The OSCE Minsk Group has allowed the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic referring to it as the leadership of Nagorno-Karabakh, as well as Armenia and Azerbaijan, to participate in the peace process as parties to the conflict, and the Azerbaijani community of the region, as an interested party. The chairman of the CSCE Minsk conference mentioned that the terms party to the conflict and leadership of Nagorno-Karabakh do not imply recognition of any diplomatic or political status under domestic or international law. The Azerbaijani community is led by Bayram Safarov, the head of the executive power of Shusha region. At a 2007 press conference in Yerevan, Yuri Merzlyakov, the OSCE Minsk Group Russian co-chair stated, at the press conference in Baku, I underlined that Nagorno-Karabakh was a part of Azerbaijani SSR and not of Azerbaijan. I perfectly know that till 1917 Nagorno-Karabakh was a part of the Russian Empire. The history is necessary in order to settle conflicts, but it is necessary to proceed from international law. Meanwhile, on 10 June 2007 after U.S.-Azerbaijani security consultations in Washington, D.C. with Azerbaijani Deputy Foreign Minister Eras Asimov, Deputy Assistant Secretary of U.S. Department of State, U.S. Co-Chairman of OSCE Minsk Group Matthew Bryza in a joint press conference announced, "...in the circles of international law there is no universal formula for the supremacy of territorial integrity over the right of self-determination of people." United Nations General Assembly On 14 March 2008, the United Nations General Assembly passed a non-binding resolution by a vote of 39 to 7, with 100 abstentions, reaffirming Azerbaijan's territorial integrity, expressing support for that country's internationally recognized borders and demanding the immediate withdrawal of all Armenian forces from all occupied territories there. The resolution was supported mainly by members of the OIC and Guam, both of which Azerbaijan is a member, as well as other nations facing breakaway regions. The resolution was opposed by all three members of the OSCE Minsk Group.
Topic: <laughs> <laughs> European Parliament. On the 20th of May 2010, the European Parliament adopted a resolution on the need for an EU strategy for the South Caucasus which states that EU must pursue a strategy to promote stability, prosperity and conflict resolution in the South Caucasus. The resolution calls on the parties to intensify their peace talk efforts for the purpose of a settlement in the coming months, to show a more constructive attitude and to abandon preferences to perpetuate the status quo created by force and with no international legitimacy, creating in this way instability and prolonging the suffering of the war-affected populations, condemns the idea of a military solution and the heavy consequences of military force already used, and calls on both parties to avoid any further other breaches of the 1994 ceasefire. The resolution also calls for withdrawal of Armenian forces from all occupied territories of Azerbaijan, accompanied by deployment of international forces to be organized with respect of the UN Charter in order to provide the necessary security guarantees in a period of transition, which will ensure the security of the population of Nagorno-Karabakh and allow the displaced persons to return to their homes and further conflicts caused by homelessness to be prevented, and states that the EU believes that the position according to which Nagorno-Karabakh includes all occupied Azerbaijani land surrounding Nagorno-Karabakh should rapidly be abandoned. It also notes, "...that an interim status for Nagorno-Karabakh could offer a solution until the final status is determined and that it could create a transitional framework for peaceful coexistence and cooperation of Armenian and Azerbaijani populations in the region." In October 2013, the European Parliament adopted the Resolution on the European Neighbourhood Policy in which it is stated that the occupation by one country of the Eastern Partnership which includes Armenia and Azerbaijan of the territory of another violates the fundamental principles and objectives of the Eastern Partnership and that the resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict should comply with UN Security Council Resolutions 822, 853, 874 and 884 of 1993 and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe OSCE Minsk Group Basic Principles, enshrined in the L'Aquila Joint Statement of 10 July 2000. This same document also states that, "...parliament fully subscribes to the principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity and the right to self-determination of nations." <laughs> OSCE Minsk Group On 26 June 2010, the presidents of the OSCE Minsk Group's co-chair countries, France, the Russian Federation, and the United States of America made a joint statement, reaffirming their "...commitment to support the leaders of Armenia and Azerbaijan as they finalize the basic principles for the peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict." Russia. Also in 2006, Russia published its 63-volume Great Encyclopedia which described Nagorno-Karabakh as an independent entity that belonged to Armenians historically, in its introduction to the region. Azerbaijan has protested this passage in the Russian Encyclopedia. It handed a protest letter to the Russian ambassador to Azerbaijan demanding that the encyclopedia be confiscated and amended. Topic: <laughs> Independence recognition efforts. Non-UN member states U.S. states Other In October 2012, the Australian state of New South Wales recognised Nagorno-Karabakh however it was reaffirmed by the Australian Foreign Minister in November 2015 that the federal government of the Commonwealth of Australia does not, and supports Azerbaijan's claim to the state. In 2017, the Australian Greens announced that they recognised the Republic of Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh. In September 2014, the Basque Parliament adopted a motion supporting Nagorno-Karabakh's right to self-determination. 
In the Philippines, various politicians are in favor of Artsakh Nagorno-Karabakh recognition and have suggested for the cooperation of ASEAN, which includes 10 Southeast Asian nations, in the recognition of the country. However, the current administration has yet to prioritize the issue due to an ongoing drug war and a shift to federalism. Before California recognized Nagorno-Karabakh in May 2014, three places within the state had already recognized it. Fresno County, April 2013. Highland November 2013 Los Angeles January 2014 Highland is twinned with Birdzor Montebello is twinned with Stepanakert Topic See also Republic of Artsakh Armenian controlled territories surrounding Nagorno-Karabakh Community for Democracy and Rights of Nations Foreign Relations of Artsakh List of representative offices of Artsakh Madrid Principles Visa Policy of Artsakh Topic. References Topic. External links Government of the Nagorno-Karabakh Republic